are live. GM Farcaster. It is Wednesday, eight 3rd. And you are here with Nona Shroff and Erica Heavyweight uh, for 21 minutes of Farcaster News to start your day. And if you didn't know, um, Warpcast is currently down. I don't know if all of Farcaster is down. I haven't checked uh, Supercast. That would have been a good idea. Didn't think of that until just now. Um, but we were having a little bit of an issue trying to get on here because uh, I had sent Erica the link, for example, on Warpcast to join me. So then I had to send it to Twitter. And then I couldn't, you know, normally we show links during the show and the links aren't loading. So it's been an interesting adjustment for the morning. Um, oh, somebody said Supercast and Nook currently seem to be good. Um, hopefully everyone else sees us here. I'm hoping you guys are seeing me. Okay, great. <laughs> it's like, please don't unlonely go down. How are you doing this morning besides all this, this fun we've just experienced? Other than that, I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> it's like, I'm great. I have my coffee. I'm great. I'm having a little water. The stress of like making sure that I could actually join this on time. I'm doing great this morning. <laughs> It's like I sent you the link on Twitter all of a sudden, like right before I'm, as I'm like scrambling to try and get screenshots of the links that I put, you know, saved. We put them into a discord. This is what you and I have been doing since the beginning. And then I pull them up ready for the show and I go to start pulling them up and they're like they show for a second and then they disappear. And I'm like, what <laughs> is going on? I'm like, no. So I started screenshotting them. So I do have something for us to talk about. Fantastic. Good. Yeah. And then that was the same thing that was happening to you, right? Going into direct cast. You were yes, just like exactly. getting for a second. And I just like panic clicked the link, like the first one that I sent in our group chat, like as soon as I could, like just panic yeah. clicked whatever the first one was. So like if you had sent me a new link and like I <laughs> just panic clicked it, no matter what it was. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm gonna find her on Twitter. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm a farcaster, Maxi. I like I, never log in. I know. I was like, I don't know why I didn't get your email. Anyway, so we're here. We're here, and uh, and here we go. So let's uh, let's uh, jump into it. Um, <laughs> I feel like I should have started with the meme that I'm going to show in a little bit, which I actually put on the cover, and it's like more appropriate than ever. But we'll get to that. Uh, but in the meantime. Dan, work in progress. The challenge with scaling quality in channels is in a permissionless way. Pick two. And he has said something along these lines before about um, you have to pick two and quality, work, or permissionless. Um, and so algo with high bar or payment, auto mod works fine in, for small channels, permissionless, invite only. So all these different things that you have to take into consideration when you're thinking about how are we going to do um, permissionless all everything really. So I thought this was really interesting. And then we had this little note from uh, Boradutch. I'm so out of the loop. I have no idea what DWR is trying to show here. <laughs> so fun fact, I was part of the origin chat that this came out of. Um, ah. so I am very in the loop about this. Uh, Perfect. Explain it to yeah. us, Erica. So we were, light. we were chatting about how even with auto mod, like a lot of uh, spam still comes through, right? Like you can very easily like hack through the auto mod rules, especially since they're static. So like if you ban one key keyword, even if you're using like rejects patterns, like if people notice that's the pattern you're using, they'll be able to figure it out and like get through it. And a lot of this also came out of my opinion that a lot of the moderating efforts hosts are currently using are unfairly punishing genuine new users. Mm -hmm. um, so creating yeah. channels like with warps, like new users, yes, they onboard with 50 warps if they get an invite, otherwise they have to wait, you know, to be able to join a channel. Um, like a lot of the- Great point, other... great point. I hadn't thought about that aspect of it too. Yeah, so yeah. if like Farcaster is concerned with onboarding new users, a lot of the moderation techniques that we've now like added into the experience adds unnecessary friction for new users to onboard. So genuine new users aren't able to like extract a lot of value out of the Farcaster ecosystem with how moderating is being approached right now. Um, so this conversation came out of how can we fix this issue? How can we make sure that we're not unfairly 
punishing genuine new users uh, right. for the sake of reducing spammy new users. Yeah, it's tricky. It's definitely tricky. And I think it's especially when we just saw, again, highest level of daily active users again. So we hit another all-time high, 77,000, and that just strains everything, right? Especially when you're not going in this nice little easy up trajectory. It's like, oof. <laughs> so then you don't expect it. You don't know what's going to drive it. And then all of a sudden you've got, you get slammed. And I've seen, there's been a number of different things that have been, you know, breaking under that load and it's just an adjustment time. But thank you for that uh, You're very welcome. explanation. We had perfect, perfect time to have you on. Um, so any, moving on, and I normally would just click to the next slide, but Hey, we're going to scroll today. Like, like I'm in class. Um, <laughs> we're doing amazing actual slides today. Like, what is going on? Um, but I did love this from Board Dutch. So thank you for the laugh. And then we have Key Hub Metric. This is from B. Uh, Barun. Key Hub Metric. We are laser focused on improving is sync health. What we are a key hub metric we are laser focused on improving is sync help health. We have about 800 to 1000 running hubs at any given time. Sync health is the percentage of these hubs that are fully, fully caught up with the network. Our goal is to have 99% sync health and Wazi Mandalas is leading the effort. Um, and the sync health for the last four hours, this was uh, yesterday sometime, was 95.29. So some of that may be, we may be seeing some impact from that as well, where even if you're seeing something, you may not be seeing the most up-to-date information. So um, yeah, so, and just a note right now, Warpcast is still down, um, but Nook and Supercast are up. So speaking of sync, there you go. Um, so this is, this is great. And I've been seeing a lot of Varun posting different things about hubs and metrics and, and the things they're doing to move that forward. So, um, any insight on that before? Uh, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That one. Um, and then related hubs are now up to 14% rust, um, idea Pax, Sanjay, and Wazi Mandalas have moved all our hot code paths to Rust. Focus is now on improving sync, as mentioned before, and P2P until we can comfortably support 500K DAO. So right now we're looking at 77 was the new high we hit this weekend. Day, DAO is daily active users, not the other kind of DAOs that I'm normally talking about, um, <laughs> but daily active users. And it goes on to talk about um, the different languages, TypeScript, Rust, Shell, JavaScript, and we're still a lot on TypeScript. Um, and Hubble is now 10% raw and five times faster. That was 27 days ago. So we're really moving you can see the comparison of that movement and where they're planning to go with this. So um, on the dev side, really interesting to see what's happening there in order to support this larger load of folks coming in. And the bottom line was, why are we seeing a larger load of folks? Let's talk about that for a second. Um, bottom line is, uh, it's honestly DGEN right now. It's DGEN, it's the attention around DGEN, it's people realizing that you know, there are folks getting paid for being active on a social network. Um, and others have tried, but, you know, have, have realized that they're not going to get paid much from Elon. Um, and so now we're seeing it, you know, it's good and bad to me. It's like, it's good and bad. I don't know how you feel about this, but I'd love to get your take. Um, you know, I love the fact that, you know, people come sometimes come for the coin and stay for the community, but there's also a different vibe and I'm feeling it right now. We're, you know, we had this moment um, post frames and post, you know, first, first degen round of this like burst of new people and it got very different and some of it was not great. And we're kind of in that mode again where some of it is not great. Um, but also you want, like you mentioned, you want to bring those genuine new users in. You want to be those, those folks who are going to contribute to the community. This um, week alone, I saw a fuck render and Claire Silva, both amazing, amazing top level artists jump onto the platform. Do we want them here? Absolutely. Come on in. Like, very excited to see you. Um, are there some other folks that I would rather just stay over on Twitter? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> like, go <Same>. away. <laughs> go away. 
Um, and I think, you know, I saw that there was like a Twitter space with hundreds of people in it. They're talking about Farcaster. So there's a lot of like movement over and some of that is very builders who are amazing and artists who we really want, you know, as part of this community and, and others are just, they're looking to get paid and it's, it's a tough, uh, tough thing to balance thoughts. Oh, thoughts. I thought you said, but thoughts. And I was like, no Please. thoughts. Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thoughts, Erica? My, uh, haven't had enough coffee this morning. Know, um, thoughts, many. Main thought that comes <laughs> to mind was actually um, a fantastic cast by Ted that she posted last night, but mm. unfortunately, obviously, we can't pull it I'd up. love to pull that up, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not possible. Um, but she posted in Ted it, her channel, um, like, you know, kind of a discuss, like, the, the tipping behavior or the potential... Mm. Um, like for lack of a better word, hypocrisy of how we approach like tipping culture in restaurants and stuff and then like degen tipping. And I think what she was trying to actually highlight through asking this question, which is a very leading question, is our degen tips are not our money. Like exactly. our balance is not being deducted. Like we are not taking $5 or $1 from our own wallet and like giving it to someone else. Someone is giving us money to then distribute. Um, right. So that just drastically changes the tipping behavior, the behavior. And that faucet mm -hmm. is going to run out, you know, yeah. like that is not going to be forever. And so my thoughts are a little bit mixed on this because right now, yeah, it's going to be a lot of attention and it's going to be a lot of noise and it's going to be hard to find that sense of camaraderie and like close community within Farcaster with this activity. But also at the same time, I know it's going to end at some point and stabilize um, to a more sustainable like level of activity unless another meme coin pops up and does the same thing, you know? And, and we did see that this week. We saw it with Enjoy, yeah. um, but okay. that's specifically for minting, you know, minting mm -hmm. behavior and very specific to Zora. So a little different, but similar, like really similar to what you're talking about. And um, along those lines too, I'm just trying to find the right cast. Usually I can just click on, on little tabs and I can move <laughs> around. Now I have to scroll through slides. Um, Kagusha had something similar here that is along those same lines about calling for self-awareness with tipping contests. Reminder, you don't have to run a contest to support artists. Too many contests dilute the impact of unique content. If you're running a contest, consider ways to make it valuable. Ask a thoughtful question, reward the best answers, give specific topics, et cetera. Um, I think this is really good advice. And I did have an artist actually reach out to me and say like that she was not comfortable with that or was getting a little frustrated by other artists who were, mm -hmm. you know, basically just going in that direction and encouraging that tipping sort of thing. And, um, or I'll tip you if you buy my thing. And, and so there's a little bit of that. It's, it's kind of like finding a balance, but I literally did this the other day where I said, okay, I'm going to give my full tip to somebody who mints this, but it was because I was, I got thrown into a pearl contest and I was like, <laughs> my competitive nature when I don't think I can get more than that many likes. I never have let me give it a shot. And I, but I actually made the mint completely free. Like I paid the gas hmm. for it. Okay. So I, I did something that like, I wasn't, I really ended up spending like, you know, some serious ETH there just because I wanted to experiment and see if I could move the needle and it, and it worked. Um, so then I gave my tip away, but, and I've seen other good uses of that too. It's like, if you're, you know, tipping, folks who are creating content, creating memes, creating art, and they're putting that on the timeline and they're not asking for that. And you mm -hmm. just like what, what they're sharing. Like to me, that's the best use of the tip. Um, and I do are. appreciate that. Yeah. So I do see, and I do see like, her, um, you know, the yellow collective has done really well with that too, where at times they've incentivized auctions and not mm -hmm. necessarily who wins, but bidders on the particular you know, noun that comes up that day. So using the tipping to reward those who are participating um, and who are contributing, I think is a really good way to approach it. Um, mm -hmm. And speaking of tipping, and now I got to scroll back up. I got to find my, I got to find my, my next thing that um, this is going to be so what is I all over the place, be, man. Maybe. This is all over the place. <laughs> this is like, this is like episode four <laughs> instead of like, 83 like where i used to like not right. even we weren't That's even fine. showing anything <laughs> like we're back to the stone age 
Um, so there's a new frame where you can see who your top tippers were. And I thought this was really cool because I had no idea that some and Kagusha were my top tippers. I had no idea because I don't normally track who's tipping me. And I don't, you know, I kind of see them when they flash through, but I wasn't paying attention. So I just wanted to thank everybody for that because that was very kind. Um, so some Kagusha Symbiotech links, links. Hey, links. Um, Bix by Jolie. Hey, Jolie. Hey, Art Lou. Ted. I had no idea. Um, Zamar. Z Zahumred Med. I don't even know who that is. I have to go find <laughs> out, make sure I'm actually following them. I have no idea. And not Devin. So mostly it's like people that I knew and I interact with a lot. And I often, I don't do a lot of, you know, tip, I don't do tip me, tip me, tip me back or whatever, any of that. Like I just kind of tip randomly most of the time. Um, so this was really nice to see. And if you, you can, once Warpcast is back on, you can go find this frame and I'll put the link in the show notes. And you can go find this baby and find out who your top tippers are and, and say and say thanks. Um, so so thank you, Link to Joel. I see you in the chat. Um, appreciate you. So that was really nice to see. I liked that um, use of the frame for sure. Uh, Nainar, uh, this from Nainar from Rish. The database behind. I should have done this earlier, and I would have had I been able to do my normal normal uh, order here. Uh, the database behind the SQL playground came back online for an hour ago, which finally brings back. The final missing piece, shout out to Manan for fighting, for firefighting today. Yes, at one point, I actually made things worse by trying to fix them. I blamed three hours of sleep. I thought that was funny. Um, because there's, again, the load that everything's dealing with right now. So Nanar is what a lot of the different um, apps and frames, et cetera, are built using. So that was causing some issues. So we're having all kinds of little tech issues. Um, everyone go away for a minute, would you? <laughs> Let them get things back up. Um, oh, and related to DJ, see, this is so out of order. <laughs> so out of order. This is from Goose. GN, me trying to figure out how much DJ I have left to dip today. I do that when it when sometimes it doesn't tell you. It's not giving you an accurate number, and you know it's not accurate. You're like, okay, I know I tipped more than that today. What do I have left? Um, I don't always try to get to zero, but I try to get close. Or, or I'm like, I'm going to give you this tip. I don't know if I have anything left, but here you go. Hopefully it's there. Yeah. I got um, reduced down to zero for my tipping because I added a new wallet to Farcaster. And when I added oh, that new wallet, yep. it, like totally revamped everything. And I'm like, I used to have a lot of tipping ability. Yep. And now I have nothing. And where did it go? And um, that happened with uh, – Tony Hawk, same thing. Mm -hmm. He was like, all of a sudden he had a ton of tips and then all of a sudden they were gone. It's because he had added another wallet to his account. Yeah. By that the way, like, that's that why my original DGen airdrop is still stuck in a safe. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I did get I'm my getting, I'm close. Though. I'm close yeah. to getting it out. I have one little, I, I personally do not have the technical ability to do a couple things that I need to do that I figured out. I got, I got as far as creating the proxy safe. So okay. I got that. So we're, we're there, but then it was like, and now you do command line interface. And I was like, I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Okay. I don't know what that is. It was asking me like, <laughs> you need Python and you need, I'm like, I need what now? <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Yes. I'll figure this out later. Let's get one of our viewers to help you out later. So yeah. I have actually a friend who's going to, who's going to help me. We just have to find time. He's in Australia. I'm like, can you help me with this? He's like, yeah, I can definitely help you with this. I was going to try and add him to the safe. And then I realized I couldn't do that. I have to do the command line mm -hmm. interface. Uh, anyway, there's nothing in the safe. Uh, but anyway, so back to a few other notes. Uh, if you're interested in shipping a launch day cast action, please reply to this cast. So cast actions are coming soon. If you have an interest in that, please uh, respond to Dan. He would uh, love to get you involved in that. And I think I'm looking forward to seeing what that is all about. Also from Farcon, I've been dying to ask you about this. Yeah. Um, this was from Ted yesterday. Slow Crypto dreamt up some dope swag and we want your help in designing it. Reply below with your favorite FC native memes slash art. The most liked replies by Far Squad members will get designed in. Thanks to Seneca plus Browns plus Party Dow. My votes, Farcasting, uh, DWR, Super Verification, Tim Dobb, and Warped and Oxen. 
Um, mole, I think we need some mole is my clearly. personal opinion. I mean, clearly don't cook again, <laughs> has to be somewhere involved in here. Um, but I love this. So what do you have any favorites? I got all of the kiwis. Funny enough, I'm allergic yeah, to kiwis, kiwis, but like, I love kiwis. Really? Yeah. Um, I only became allergic to them when I was like 24. So I ate them my whole life. Wow. <laughs> and then my body was like, no, no, no you're done. You're done with kiwis. <laughs> done with kiwis. <laughs> Um, you are done with kiwis. No more kiwis for you. No. <laughs> um, love the kiwis. I got to say, I love the mole. I worked as a chef yeah. for a few years and just seeing like all of the memes that came out of that was just, it It tickled me inside in a very like fun and satisfying way um, because I know that mole you're going to love, I did not know you were a chef. You, uh, you're going to love what I'm cooking up. We got to talk right after this. Yeah. Yes, I got, please. I got some, I got some alpha for you right after this show. So yeah. don't leave. When we end, don't leave. Okay. Um, One thing to note about this, though, is that I just want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Slow Crypto. Um, Ted and I have been working with him for the past, like, six weeks on getting all of these merch ideas out. And, like, cool. One of the most talented, like, just so crazy some of the ideas he came up with. Um, I can't wait for everyone to get their hands on this actual swag. So any alpha? Um, there will be a tote bag which I love a good tote bag and it's not your okay. classic canvas tote bag. It's like a nice, okay. like, yeah, I'd say that there's also a really cool hat. Um, okay. and I gotta say the love other t-shirt that we have is, uh, it's pretty sick. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited for all the swag. I'm excited for Farcon. What are you looking forward to most? I asked Ted this yesterday. Oof. I am looking forward to like the entire thing. Like I can't pick a single night. I can't pick a single day. I think I'm looking forward to the vibe. Like the vibe. December was such a vibe being around all the Farcaster people, feeling that energy, yeah. the excitement of everyone knowing yes. like with utter confidence that this is the place to be. Um, yes. That's what I'm excited to feel again. Yeah. And I think that was, you know, that was her comment as well, was that it's about uh, the people for sure. Mm -hmm. I agree. But I'm also just looking forward to every, yeah, every moment. But of course, I'm looking forward to uh, the 100th episode. At Obviously. If you had asked me. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait. Um, lastly, this, and then I have one more quick thing. Um, or two more quick things, but we got to talk about this unofficial. So this uh, first was announced by Christopher and then you. I'm so pleased to be able to announce I'm starting my official journey as a founder at unofficial with Christopher as part of Seed Club Cohort 7. This is huge news. I can't wait to see what we create and I'm stoked to learn alongside one of the most talented, kind and sharp devs I've met. Here's to the next three months. So I mentioned this before quickly, but I saved this specifically for the chat with you because I wanted you to talk a little bit about what is unofficial. Um, tell us a little bit about what Seed Club is for those who may not know. And uh, tell us what you're what you're doing, what you're up to. You were in Paris for a while. The last time you were with us, you were in Paris actually getting ready for this, like finalizing yes. uh, and waiting for the official news. So mm -hmm. tell us what's going on. What's unofficial? Yeah. So I um, was in Paris last time we talked. Now I'm in New York in person with Chris building, um, not yeah. even like in my hometown again. Um, so if that gives you an idea of what I've been up to, uh, that's like what I've been Amazing. up to is building. Um, but yeah, so I'll start off with what Seed Club is. Seed Club is a consumer crypto incubator. Um, this is their seventh cohort. They started about three years ago. Um, they do a cohort that lasts for three months. Uh, they do offer uh, investment for equity. Um, you, you know, of course, get to speak to them with what fits you the best and how you fit into their ecosystem the best. Um, but a lot of it is making sure that the founder journey is not lonely. That's like a really, really big part of Seed Club. It's uh, unlonely? It's what you're saying? Um, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Josh and Jess are the main partners at Seed Club. I actually worked with Josh at Hopper five years ago. So it's really lovely to be able to be back in like the same, you know, group as him. Um, and I'm really, really excited for the rest of the cohort. Like I know this visual doesn't show it, but the yeah. cohort's pretty much all my Farcaster friends. Um, Yay! Tim, Matthew, 
um, you know, Colin and Ben ponder and mm -hmm. it's just like really, really exciting. Um, That's super so, exciting. I'm yeah, so jealous. That's an amazing really crew. You know, like it's just wonderful that um, Lisa Foundation, Elliot, like it's just great. Um, and then for unofficial, uh, for a very quick summary of what it is, is it's a composable social company and we're focused on creating experiences that encourage people to connect with their friends, family, and communities on chain. So we really want to make the internet fun again. We don't want the internet to feel like these platforms are just extracting value from you and not necessarily giving you anything of value in return. We want to switch over to a more additive value experience for consumers on social networks and social media platforms. Amazing. I mean, I'm so looking forward to seeing everything that comes out of it. By the way, we were talking about Enjoy yesterday. That is That came out of C Club as well. So um, that has like a relation to C Club. So it's just amazing. I'm super excited to see everything that um, you're doing with Unofficial as well as everything that's going to come out of C Club in the next, uh, co in this cohort. This is like the Farcaster Focus cohort. And I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I do have a couple more quick notes since you mentioned New York. Uh, this Friday, I believe it is, um, is the FCNY number two happy hour. So Friday, April 5th, 5.30 to 8.30. So if you are a Farcaster fan and you're in New York, go RSVP to Serendipity's frame here um, and uh, make sure that you... Um, are there because actually GM Farcaster is one of the sponsors for this. And we have a giveaway that's going to be done there and a bunch of swag I just mailed out. So there's cute little pins and stuff. Oh, I don't have them handy. I put them in the other room. Um, cute little things that I sent over. So go grab them. And I hope everyone has an amazing time. I believe Adrian's going to be back in town. So she will be there. And then there's another event on Saturday as well. So lots of Farcaster meetups happening so go check those out and i'm really jealous and i'm trying not to pay attention to everything that's happening in new york right now because i'm just gonna be mad that i'm not there so i'm just like ignoring it all because usually i am there and i couldn't be there this time so i'm like i'm just gonna pretend it's not even happening but i hope you have an amazing time oh, i think it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> and then lastly uh yeah this is uh, the meme of the day. I can't believe how incredibly relevant it was um, since this is exactly what I had to do this morning was to reach out to Erica <laughs> on Twitter and be like, hey, if you need that link, <laughs> here it is. Because There you go. So a little meme from winter, uh, the what is my purpose uh, meme. What is my purpose to announce when uh, Warpcast is down? Um, and oh God, oh my God, yes. So announcing when Warpcast is down is your purpose. And I did a really bad screenshot on that one. Um, <laughs> like with the image in bed, uh, cast, like crazy. Uh, but did my, did my best. Uh, and that is it for us. We went a little bit over, but oh, what a day. Um, but I really wanted to make sure we got some time to talk about C Club and Unofficial. So I wanted to take that little extra time while I had you as a captive audience and Parcon. <laughs> both things that you're involved in. And I'm super excited to see you in less than a month. I know. Uh, really. At Farcon. This is crazy. It's coming up so fast. And have an amazing time in New York with all the Farcaster folks. Um, very jealous. Make sure uh, you'll see Adrian, I'm sure, on Friday at some point. And we'll be back. I'll be back with Adrian Friday morning. She'll be back from vacay. And we will see you then. And with that... Uh, that is it. Let me see if I can actually take us out of here uh, like normal. Uh, and with that, bye-bye.